Uh, in this video, we'll be learning how to connect Gmail to your WordPress website so that you're able to receive emails whenever someone submits a form entry on your website. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, then watch this video. Okay, so first we'll need to install the WPSMP plugin to our website. And so go to plugins and then add new. Search WPSMTP and install this one here. Okay, and then click activate. Okay, so this is the plugin here. So we can set up the from email and the from name. So this will be just your website name by default. Okay, so first we need to go into our Google Developer Console. So this is where we would get the client ID and client secret and be able to connect our Gmail account to our website so that we can receive emails from our website. First of all, what we wanna do is create a new project. So go here and create new project. And let's call this website email. Okay, and then click create. Okay, and then next, what we wanna do is select a project. Okay, and then we're gonna go to APIs and go to enable APIs and services, and then we're gonna search for Gmail API. Okay, so this one here, and then we're gonna click enable. Okay, and then after we're going to go to create credentials And then make sure it's Gmail API. Okay, and then we're gonna keep it at user data and click next. Okay, so these are the app names. So let's put website email. And then the user, the email. So it'll be just your default Gmail. And again, you can just write your email here again. Okay, and then click save and continue. Okay, in this section we can just skip. And then save and continue again. And then this is the last one is OAuth client ID. So we wanna set this to web application. And then we can just keep it the default here. And then what we wanna do here is authorize redirect URIs is we wanna take the one from our website, this one right here, and then paste it here. Okay, and click create. Okay, so now we have our client ID. And we can copy that and paste it here on the WP SMTP plugin. Okay, so we're going to click done. Okay, so next we're going to make the app external. So go to auth consent screen and then change it from testing to production. Okay, and just make sure this is external. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna go to credentials and then go over here to our OAuth 2.0 client ID. And then we're going to copy the client secret and then paste it here. Okay, and then we're going to click save and then we're going to allow the plugins to send emails using our Google account. So again, just re-log into your Gmail just to verify the app. Okay. And click allow. Okay, so now we linked our Google API and now we can start sending emails. This will be your from email everything looks good so let's let's do an email test okay send to Sean so send it to the email that you just set up and click send email 
Okay, let's check the email. Okay, so we successfully connected our Gmail to our website. So now we're able to receive emails using Gmail. Okay, so lastly, let's uh, test out the form. So again, just make sure if you're using something like contact form seven, just check your settings, go to edit and then mail. So the two site admin address, just make sure this matches the email that you connected to the website. And then the same as the from email. Okay, so it's saying the sender email address does not belong to the site domain, but that's fine because we're just using Gmail, but I would advise if you do have a domain that you create an email for that domain so that it matches the website domain that your website is connected to. So let's go back to the home page and let's make a test submission. Okay, and click submit. Okay, great. So it says, thank you for your message. It has been sent. So let's just double check our email. Okay, great. So this is all working perfectly. We received the form entry to our email. So that's how you would connect Gmail to your WordPress website using the WP SMTP plugin. So this concludes this video. I hope you're able to successfully receive emails whenever someone submits a form entry. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.